Hey there, friends and fans, it's Thomas Zoe 3000 here, and welcome to my first Yu Gi Oh card opening video for 2021. It's been a while since I've done one of these, and I have collected some Yu Gi Oh cards in 2020, but, well, they were mostly just the Dollarama packs, and, uh, to be honest, I didn't really get that many. Most of my focus was on Thomas and My Little Pony. <laughs> so, yeah, I haven't really uh, <laughs> had a reason to, you know, just show off the cards on camera. Well, that changes as of today. For today, I have just one of these Spell Ruler packs that I got from Walmart. And an entire box of Blazing Vortex cards. This is the latest batch of Yu-Gi-Oh! card packs. And personally, I'm just looking forward to seeing what kind of cards are in here. Again, I'm not really following along with the anime series as much anymore. I know there is the seventh series that's just come out in Japan. But uh, again, I haven't really been watching them. So, yeah, just follow along with the card game. That's it. <laughs> just in case any of you are wondering and... In case any of you do ask questions about the current anime series, uh, I won't be able to answer them because I know next to nothing. Anywho, uh, we'll get to Blazing Vortex in a minute and just get on with Spell Ruler. I'm kind of hoping that there's some nice holographic cards in here. If I can get this open with just one hand. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Of course, like all Walmart packs, we get some additional cards besides the cards in that pack. Okay, so we got a couple of holographics. Hmm. That's women. I've never seen these cards before. Hmm. Well, some of these I've seen. Hmm. Very nice. All right. Just gonna put you down here for a second. Put these to the side, and let's look at or let's have a look at spell ruler. Yeah. My words are really off today. Come on, Do I have a holographic in here. Nope. One of the silver ones. That's all right. I don't think I have that one. And I want to hear from you guys. Do you want me to show you? My entire collection of Yu-Gi-Oh cards thus far? If you do, just leave your comment in the comment section down below. Alright, and now I'll do Blazing Vortex. Armed and dangerous. Nine cards per pack. 24 packs per box. So, I'm going to have to use my scissors here to cut into the plastic surrounding the whole box. All right, here we go. <laughs> Open this up and set it up like the stores would. And there we go. How about that? Blazing Vortex. <laughs> I like getting boxes so that way I'm getting more than just you know, one set of cards. Because in the past, yes, I would always get just one pack or two packs. The most I would get is maybe five packs, and then that's it. <laughs> now, these days, it's different. Hmm. All right. So let's see what we got. <laughs> there, get it open. There we go. All right. First pack, what do we got? Okay, we got our first holographic. I'm gonna put holographics to the side here. Nice. Pack number two. looking card. Armed Dragon Thunder level 5. 
I remember Arm Dragon level 5. <laughs> I guess it's kind of similar. <laughs> no? I'll find out when I look at all the details later. All right. So that's two packs thus far. All right. Next, one of the pendulum monsters and a link monster. Oh, we got another holographic. 2,700 attack points. That's a powerful beast. Really cool. Of course, you're probably wondering, what do I do with these boxes after I've done all the unboxings? Well, <laughs> Truth be told, I just use them to store the extra Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I have around here. And if I ever have friends over in the future, then uh, they can use those cards for duels. Though it hasn't happened yet. What is this? Greater Polymerization. Hmm. Interesting looking card. Oh, Gemma Pink? Oh, come on. Really? Those cards are continuing? <laughs> oh, boy. I remember the old Gemma Trio from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Yeah. Crazy monsters. Zero attack points, if I remember correctly. Arm Dragon Thunder Level 3. 1,200 attack points. Reminds me of the original card. Uh, I forget how you call it, but I'm just going to call this one Light of the Heavens. Wow. It's interesting, too, that now we got some ritual monsters in here. God, I haven't seen too many ritual monsters in recent years. Then again, I haven't seen the use of Monster Reborn in years, but... <laughs> Who knows, maybe cards like that can make a comeback. Ah, you never know. All right. Nope, one of those Xyz monsters. Some of these packs are just too difficult to open up. <laughs> All right. Okay. Love the shine that goes into these cards. Another old gem of pink, still at zero attack points. Also, in case you're wondering, yes, I do have a couple of dual discs. I've got the original Battle City one and the Ori Calcos one. Never got the GX one, though. And no, I don't have the new Japanese version of... Uh, 
the Battle City Dual Disc. Okay, here's our next holographic. Kind of reminds me of Obelisk in a way. Oh, wait, no, sorry. I thought that was supposed to be a representation of Obelisk. That's why it said, reminds me of Obelisk, but nope, nope. The Dream Mirror Tormentor. Well, that's probably the reason. <laughs> eh. And no, I'm not keeping track of how many packs I'm opening up right now. I'm just opening them up for the fun of it, you know? And I'm not making any sense today. <laughs> but then again, when do I ever? Hmm. Yeah, honestly, I've never seen this type of monster card before. When was this kind of monster introduced? Do you guys know? Let me know in the comment section, okay? Okay, here's our next holographic with 1,600 attack points and 1,550 defense. I like how that these new packs just keep coming out with the holographics, no matter which pack you open up. It makes it a lot easier than it was back in the old days. <laughs> Where pretty much, I think it was every 10 packs or so, you finally find a holographic. I remember my first ever one had Spear Dragon. Don't think I have that card anymore. If I do, it's around here somewhere. Okay. Holographic Trap card. Hmm. Interesting. Yep, so far that's all the cards I've opened up out of the packs. Minus the holographics, which are right here. How interesting is that? Okay. Okay. Have a look at this card. With 800 attack points and 1,000 defense. Hmm. I have to admit, I've never seen a monster quite like this one before. So that's unique. All right. I was just going to count them all, but that thought, nah. Hope you guys don't mind me being a little disoriented right now, because uh, <laughs> I'm just not speaking clearly. And as you can tell, it's been a while since I've done any of these type of videos before. Well, in a while. Pfft. There I go again. See my point? Okay, another holographic XC's monster with 1600 attack points and 2500 defense. Two level 8 monsters. Whew. Yeah, two level 8 monsters. If I remember correctly, they were always hard enough to summon. 
especially if you had to worry about uh, whatever trap cards your opponent has just put down on the field. You know, it could be Trap Hole or uh, Torrential Tribute. That one always got to me every time. Okay. Another Holographic Fusion. Actually, did I have a Holographic Fusion in here? Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Hmm. Well, so far, we have not seen the main monster that's on the front of this card pack. Well, maybe we'll acquire that one, maybe we won't. I'm only getting one box of Blazing Vortex, so if I don't get it, oh well. Wow, nice looking dragon. So shiny. Synchro Monster. I've always liked Synchros. With 2,400 attack points. Mm. Alright. Getting down to the bottom here, guys. Hundred attack points. Now they're all Gemma Pink. Oh, let's see. All right, now I guess I can count up or count up how many packs I have left. Uh, only five left. Okay, just five. And if you're watching my video using the subtitles, oh boy, I can only imagine what the subtitles are saying right now. Definitely love seeing the return of ritual monsters. Seems like every time we get a new style of monster like Synchro or Xenes or Pendulum, we just keep losing one of the classics like Fusion or Rituals. But now they're making a comeback. Now another Arm Dragon level 3. I think I'll keep that in there this time because it is a duplicate. I'm pretty sure by now I got quite a few duplicates in that pile of cards. But we'll find out when that time comes. Oh, sure. Now my speech is getting better. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Okay. This one looks nice. Hmm. 2,600 attack points and 2,300 defense points. I don't know how to say the name, so I'm not going to bother trying. Yep, only two packs left. You know, a funny story I can tell you guys is the fact that back in the day, my friends and I, we used to go 
to what we called the sales bar. And it was just a little flea market, uh, which was not too far off from my old home as well as my friend's houses. Uh, we just walk over there and we would try and buy as many of the Yu-Gi-Oh card packs as possible so that way we can use them in a duel. And sure be told, <laughs> my friends kept beating me every time. Every time. Though my friends and I, we haven't dueled in years, so, <laughs> as far as I know. So, you never really know. Knight of Armored Dragon. Hmm. Okay, so we got a Fusion Pendulum Monster. Twenty five hundred attack points. All right. Okay, and that is it. Despite my messed up speech every now and then, I still call this a success. Oh, sure. Now I can say the word properly. <laughs> uh, but yes, guys, there you have it. Those are the cards of Blazing Vortex, and I got quite a few good holographics in here. I don't think I got the monster featured right there, but, uh, oh well. Maybe one day I'll find it. And of course, I opened up that pack with these extra cards. Including these two, I have never seen them before, so that's really unique. And of course, open up a classic like Spell Ruler. <laughs> no holographics in here, but you know what, that silver one certainly makes up for it. <laughs> Oh yeah, what did you guys think of this little video? Did you enjoy me opening up some Yukio card packs? And would you like to see more in the future? Love to hear your answers. And overall, which one of these cards did you enjoy seeing the most? And one more question I'd like to ask you guys. Would you like me to keep buying up more boxes like this one? And just, you know, getting 24 packs just to open up in front of you? Because if the answer is yes, then I'll see what I can do. Every time a new set of a new set of packs comes out, yeah, there we go. I will get another box and just you know empty it out until I've pretty much gotten every single card in there. And now I got the fun challenge of just uh, sorting them out and you know adding them to my collection. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna take me a little while. So, I'm just going to get on to doing that and call it quits with this video. So, until next time, my friends, I'm Thomas Story 3000 with the messed up speeches as per usual. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching if you have watched this video right up to the end. <laughs> and I'm signing off. See you guys later.